Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Peter Borte. I'm Greg Rickhart. And I play Demetrius von Leuschner. And I play Leo Stark. Thank you. AKA, for... I'm still talking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey, Maddie Cooper, but only Gwen's allowed to call me that. That's true. Okay, I'm gonna put this down now because Wait, I no, think. We, uh, oh, go on. Um, yeah, thank you. Please like and subscribe to our <laughs> ASMR channel, and uh, well, uh, th thanks for being here. Yeah. First comes love. Thank you for a wonderful first date. Does that mean there's gonna be a second date? Then comes marriage. With this ring. Why be wet? Then comes baby. This baby is coming. I have to ask you, what is the secret to being a long-standing soap opera super couple? Is there a secret to it? I think I think part of it is that, that everybody says, yeah, you're, you're, I, I'm good with that. I'm good with you. And the show always needs a, a, a stable, mature couple. You know, we had Mac and Francis, we have Bill and Susan, who are still on the show occasionally. Um, but we need people that we know we can trust and turn to and listen to during a crisis. And, uh, you know, speaking of crisis, I mean, we all need that distraction a lot, especially lately. And coming home to our other family, our television family, is an enormous comfort. Yeah. And we're predictable. Yeah. Aren't we, honey? We're yeah, predictable. But I, see, I'm, I'm really a simple guy, and it all goes down to sexual tension. Right from the beginning, right from the beginning, from the moment, uh, in shenanigans, when I disarm the guy and take his gun apart like that, and, and I meet her, and I touch her hand, I look in her eyes, right there. What's so special? What is? No two snowflakes are alike, right? Hard to imagine. What's so special about this woman here that is like, no one else can touch it? And that's the way, as an actor, in a soap opera, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out what it's all about, I don't think. But that was, um, and the way we looked at each other, that was it. We had a secret. We had a secret. And we only let... You can't use that now. You can't use that. I just used it. Oh, I can't hear. I said, you can't use I, that. I just used it. Did she say that? <laughs> How <laughs> do I do this day after day? If I, you know what? That, that, that's the reason why. I, I keep trying to hit the curveball, and I took a fastball on the head. This is when I was playing with the Yankees, and I've lost four octaves of hearing. You know, there is the general generational aspect of it, right? Where people, again, watched with their mothers or their grandmothers, or um, and it gets passed down, almost like a family heirloom. And um, particularly with this show, I think... Um, you know, it all goes back to the original writers and the characters that were created almost 60 years ago. And um, and it is remarkable to have that kind of longevity mm -hmm. and to have people who, again, want to sort of stay invested and also pass it on. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool thing to be a part of. You were, telling, you were talking about it earlier, a little bit about how the fact that this show is on every day you become part of people's family, yeah. and I think that's definitely added to the longevity of the show. Also, specifically in this show, we move quick. We don't waste any time. Our storylines, we take big swings, and it's not a lot of reiterating, recapping things. We have, I, I think we pack a big punch. Yeah. When I came on to Days of Our Lives, um, I mean, we're talking from crew, makeup, everything cast, I, you feel like when you walk in, you are a part of this kind of weird, strange, wonderful family, and that is something, I think that's why it's lasted as long as it has. And it permeates through. Yeah. yeah. And, and the fans, too. I mean, I think that the, it, the medium is, it's the only medium in our genre that has lasted as long as it has. I mean, there's, what, four soaps left on, on the air, and I think that, you know, when you meet people... And you meet fans who've been watching forever. It's so it's grandmothers and you know grandchildren, generations and, you know, on generations. Yeah, yeah, you go all the way. So they, it's something that 
they've all done together. I like to have the time to chat for a second and say thank you for coming and hear what they want to tell me. And, um, and I'm so curious. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's, I don't know how you explain it other than like, I smile all day and then I go home and my face hurts. <laughs> um, but then I'm also like full of energy. So yeah, it's a wonderful It's amazing. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean the fans, that's the thing, like the show is we're coming up on 60 years, like you're just saying, like this intergenerational, amazing legacy. Yeah. Well, because the, the fans are more of a cohesive, unbroken chain than even the production is. Like, there are actors who have been on our show uninterrupted for decades at a time, but still different creative forces have come through and passed through, but the fans remain, they're the real connective tissue, right? And so it's really important, I mean, it's just, it's really edifying when they come up and say, we really like you, because you know that if they don't like you, they, they tell you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, yes. so, I wonder if you consider moving in here permanently. But in Salem... This is unethical. Oh, my God. There's... There's... Old flames... Still burn. Oh, my God. 